Hello everyone, this is Inayat Mir with installing ESXi 6.5 host 2. This will be my second host. I am sure you have watched my previous two videos, video 1 and video 2 where I have installed VMware Workstation 11, a member server which was running Windows Server 2012 R2 and then I installed my first ESXi host. This is my third video, second ESXi 6.5 host, which is known as host 2. The name will be ESXi 2. I will access these both hosts from my vCenter. So enter to continue. So simply you mount your CD, let it scan, then enter to continue F11 to accept the agreement. Use the default location which was assigned in video 1. Use default settings for the keyboard layout. Here you have to use your root account password, very very important password, very very important account which is a main account you have to know this account ignore the options continue install with F11 so I am going to do a fast forwarding to complete this installation and make sure you know that this installation may take approximately 7 to possibly uh, 10 minutes. So installation completes. A reboot is required. Now I am coming back after reboot. This was my first reboot. So if you want to do some other important configuration such as uh, changing your uh, IP, IP changing is okay. I just did offline while I was rebooting. After that, I did not turn on my video. I made a, a change here, a static IP address that is uh, not uh, basically requiring to reboot your computer. So, if you want to disable IPv6, you do have to. I will do and show you that one. I am using this IP scheme here. 120 is my IP address of my this ESXi2. 119 was my first server. So currently you can see my IPv6 is not disabled, so you have to hit space. So now you hit space and then escape and then yes or Y. So now you will go ahead and reboot once again. So this will be your second reboot. I came back after reboot. Up to this point you might want to wait approximately three more minutes to have this server. Uh, back online. I am using again my root account. Whenever you reboot and or whenever you use F2 customizing uh, command you have to use your root password. Going back to show you some configurations. You can look at your network adapters. I have only VM NIC 0 at this moment. This is my IP address, my static IP address. IPv6 is disabled. I am going to add my DNS suffix. First, let's add my preferred DNS server, primary DNS server first. This is my DNS. I'm using my default gateways address because I actually want to configure uh, internet also on my other servers as well. This is my host name. So you can assign a host name here. ESXi1 was my first ESXi 6.5 server. This is now ESXi2, my second ESXi server, escape, yes, this will save. You don't have to reboot after changing the IP address or adding a DNS suffix or changing a host name. Now you can browse around to look at that, what is right now is uh, visible. So I'm going to use my dev.com domain as a search list or suffix escape and yes to save that settings 
so far i am ready actually at this point here for my second esxi host simply you can just browse around take a look on that if you want to test your management network you simply go and check it currently my esxi2 host will fail it is failing the reason is that i did not add my esxi1 and 2 into my domain so i have provisioned a domain dev.com but you are not gonna see in that uh, my ESXi host yet but that is my uh, next step actually I am going to do that one so I am building this network installing ESXi in video 1 in video 2 I am showing you here uh, installation of my ESXi servers uh, in video 3 same thing I am adding my second ESXi uh, second host or my second server so I can actually go back and show you my other environment right now because on the back end you have the other environment ready that includes my uh, server also which is my uh, uh, vCenter server also I do have a dev.com domain available that is a very brand new domain so let's take a peek login to my server one will be my vCenter one will be my dev.com domain so before video one i posted a video where i provisioned the this dev.com domain this one so you might want to go and look at that video as well so i'm just simply showing you my active directory the rest you will see a lot actually in my other videos i'm gonna come back with my video number four so this is the environment what you see my dev.com domain please watch my fourth video thank you for watching i will come back in my next video bye